Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm the product manager here at JobBridge. Uh, so today, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to use our interview co-pilot feature. So even though most of you are going to have this already, it is important to have Chrome installed and be on the latest version. Once you have an account with us, you will gain access to the dashboard where you can try out the interview co-pilot. To get started, simply upload your resume and add a job role. This will provide our AI with the context it needs to answer interview questions with precision. So let's head to the resume management and upload a resume. Make sure the resume has been uploaded successfully uh, and go over to the job section. Now, in the job section, we are gonna add our first job role and fill in the details. In my case, let's say I'm applying for an interview at McKinsey and Company. So for the company name, let's enter McKinsey and Company. Uh, next for the job role, I'll choose Business Analyst, which is a common entry-level position in consulting. Moving on to the job description, I'll add a brief overview of the responsibilities. Assist in problem-solving sessions, analyze key data and industry trends, and contribute to client presentations and deliverables. Finally, in the additional notes section, you can include any specific details you'd like the AI to take into account. For example, in this case, I'll note that the interview will focus on case study exercises, logical problem solving, and assessing communication and teamwork skills. By adding this context, the AI can tailor its responses to align with the expectations of a McKinsey interviewer. And so go ahead and save this job role and uh, we'll be ready uh, to start our first interview. The next step is to go over to the interview AI section, select the job role we created, and start the co-pilot. Now that we're in, we can see the screen sharing area, the transcript area, and the AI response area. The next step is to connect the co-pilot to the meeting software. For Zoom, open a new tab and paste your Zoom link into the browser. Uh, instead of joining from the desktop app, choose to join directly from your browser. Click the Join from Browser button, return to JobBridge, hit Start, select the meeting at the top, click Share, and then return to JobBridge. Now for Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or in any other supported platform, the process is pretty similar. Just ensure the interview meeting is open in a Chrome tab, and you'll be able to share it with the JobBridge co-pilot. Once your interview starts, JobBridge will transcribe the conversation, detect when the interviewer asks a question, and respond automatically. Um, if JobBridge misses a question, simply press the Analyze button to get the co-pilot's answer. All right, everyone, that's pretty much it. To test it out, just create an account. If you don't have an interview scheduled, you can share any Chrome tab with audio, such as a YouTube video or a mock interview with a colleague or friend. Keep in mind that we're constantly releasing new features, including coding support for technical interviews, personal stories to provide the AI with context, mock interviews, and much more. Chances are, by the time you're watching this video, those features are already live. So head over to jobbridge.io. We'd love to see you there. Creating an account is free, no credit card required, and you get trial sessions to test out our product. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.